Iku versus Vanguard. We got our actual tournament match now. <laughs> All right. Okay, so final destination. Yeah, final destination form of I don't even remember what's what's the stage called. This Coliseum. No. Know. Why is it in shambles like that? I don't. Know. This has this to be a fire emblem stage, right? It has to be. Yeah, Ike versus Wolf. Oh, look at that fat up smash coverage. Catching the air dodge to the ground. Yeah, so now Hiko versus Vanguard. I'm expecting to see Vanguard able to get a down throw into a forward air. It's really going to be up to uh, Nahiko, Nahiku uh, to stay away from this giant sword. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be one of those instances where, you know, there's going to be spots where Ike is going to be nearing and you kind of got to respect it. Um, this is great. I love all the pressure he's putting on. Vanguard trying to recover, side being on the stage, and Nahiku running to the perfect spot for tilting, saying, you know, you're going to have to recover smarter than that. That's true. Up I mean, smash. Just the quick draw itself already has its own mix up because you're either going to quick draw high mm -hmm. and maybe either challenge your opponent or go above them and recover to the other side of the stage, or you're going to aim for ledge. So yeah. It's up to your opponent really to guess where you're going. Ooh. Look at that back throw. That setup. That's true. Look at that. Oh. We see a, a couple of blasters coming out from Nahiku. Yo, every side beyond this. Okay, that was the first time Nahiku actually failed to punish a side beyond the stage. I was like, man, this is really impressive right now. Yeah, he's gonna have to mix up the way he's, um, you know, recovering. Honestly, Vanguard is uh, maybe getting a little predictable with these quick draws. It's just like, yeah, Nahiku's just ready, man. Okay, charging up the eruption, letting go just a little bit too soon. Yeah, Nahiku was able to wait it out. And uh, here's Nahiku's opportunity to pile on some blaster damage. You really, you know, you really, like, want to have... Oh, that was a nice, nice way to land there with the B-reverse blaster going all the way to the ledge. But yeah, Nahiku, the fact that he has a blaster right now is going to really help him out in this matchup because it means that Vanguard can't just, like, you know, nair, right? That's true. I mean, but even look at the way that Nahiku's going off stage to challenge the quick draw now. He, he down aired right in front of Vanguard as he started to charge up... Uh, the quick draw. Oh, yeah, he's playing. Confident. Okay, shield grab here from Vanguard. Oh, the falling weak nair in the grab. There's that quick draw again. Of course, gonna go for ledge. We saw Nahiku charging up uh, a smash attack. Yeah, you, you ain't challenging that with quick draw. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That was, um... Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, safe, right? It's like, hey, if he quick draws into me, he's dead. And if he goes to the ledge, you know, that's cool. Like, I can just apply pressure, you know, maintain stage presence. Just a patient, solid gameplay from Nahiku right now. That's true, he's got a blaster. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> okay, dash attack connects, and of course another quick draw to ledge. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to see Vanguard actually go for a low recovery. Yeah, yeah. Make use of that sword. All quick draws so far. Okay, down throw into four. Okay, there's Nahiku's second jump. That was close, honestly. Oh, that up B. One of the stranger moves, like, in terms of its knockback, where you're trying to edge guard him sometimes, and you're just like, oh, <laughs> I guess I'm over here now. <laughs> That's true. Getting caught nice by that it has a huge hitbox. Used to be bigger, but, you know, we take this game as it is. Which one? Uh, Wolf's up B. Wolf's up B, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Used to be just not. Oh, the side combos! Yes, the extension with the the reflector. Yeah, this is I gotta say this has been really impressive gameplay so far for Nihiku. I actually really like watching Good Wolf gameplay. Um, I think Wolf is like a actually really fun character to watch. It's like pretty like you know. Oh, oh God. Yeah, that's actually I gotta give it to to Vanguard. That's really hard. To yeah. Watch, especially if you're trying to time it with an eruption. That's kind of the thing about is, uh, you know, we talked about it with the up B. The side B kind of has the same effect, where sometimes you're edge guarding Wolf, and that side B just, it just hits you, and you're like, oh, God. Yeah, the side B is just so powerful, too, especially if you get, like, sweet spotted. Mm -hmm. It could be, like, I'm trying to, to edge guard you, and now I'm dead. I honestly, like, I mean, I guess it's part of the, the, the appeal of the move is that you can use it as, like, a combo ender, but it's just kind of a little awkward sometimes when it's used as a recovery, and... You just kind of get a cheeky kill, or at least a lot of damage off of off of it. Um, you know, basically completely accidentally. Okay, that dash, dash, dash tag.
Blaster! Oh. Yeah, and I think he jumped earlier than he needed to, man. I feel like yeah. that's an instance where maybe if he had, um... Should directional yeah. air dodge. Yeah, instead. directional air dodge instead of using his jump so early. Well, Nahiku taking game one. Yeah, really solid play. <clears throat> Okay, so while our players jump back to select stages and characters, um, not really expecting character change. Yeah, not from these two. These seem like character loyalists to me. But starting out game two, Nahiku and Vanguard, are we going to see another stage with no platforms? Okay. Kalos. Kalos. So... Mostly, <laughs> side platforms usually not really interfering in most of the combat except when it goes to the ledges. Yeah, well, I was, you know, well, we don't really see Vanguard recover low too often. I was thinking that if Vanguard recovers low, Niku could set up to get a spike, especially if Vanguard is trying yeah. to sweet spot the ledge. <clears throat> but, I mean, we see more quick draws than anything. Yeah, and if anything, I think that, like, if you're um, mostly using quick draw to recover, like, which Vanguard obviously is, uh, the platforms here do definitely help uh, Ike's recovery quite a lot. <clears throat> so yeah, I think this. More place to land. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think it's pretty smart. I mean, the you know the kill. Oh, good tech, important tech too. I think that would have definitely been death. Mm -hmm. And still, Vanguard was able to tack on a little bit extra damage uh, after Nahiku got the tech. Yep. Nice spacing there from Nahiku. Not uh not ready to like he probably could have like forward tilted or something after the uh quick draw, but Yeah, okay, not making it patient, easy for Vanguard. The patient patient play coming from Nahiku. Yep. Ooh, can you get a texture to the plan? Look for the roll in, yeah. Wanted that back air, but it's gonna be Vanguard instead taking the first dot. Oh, that was like tipper up air too. Yeah. That sword has no tipper, it's just all raw power. Yeah, that is a sword you do not want to get hit with. It's like a what do they call that? It's like a bastard sword. I remember, you know, being a kid and like learning that name. I was like, aha, bastard, that's a bad word. But I think that's the actual <laughs> name of that type of sword. I think it is too. It's definitely like a broadsword or something huge. Yeah, or a claymore. Oh. I don't really know what the difference is, honestly. I don't either, but these sound like good swords to me. That back yep. air is going to connect. Yep. Alright, forward air string here. Doesn't quite get the uh, cover of the air dodge. I thought he was going to be ready for it. Let's see if he can get... Oh, goes for a jump this time. That was good from Vanguard. Don't do not don't do the same defensive option. Okay, up air not going to KO that time. And that's really good because... Ideally, you can get out of... See, now he's like kind of... I think he's out of danger of being comboed from Nair into an up air or back air. So, he's actually out of the kill window. So, even though his percent is higher, uh, in some ways he's harder to kill now. Okay. Right, dash tag. Looking for a jump there, I think. He was trying to up air above him. Yeah, looking for these falling up airs, too. I mean, it is a good cross up option because the end of the animation is behind Ike. Mm -hmm. It also covers a lot of space, but okay, good wall jump. Great mix up to, on how you're going to get off the ledge, but that Etzel does connect Nahiku, dropping another stock. Vanguard looking much better here on Carlos than he was on FD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We thought, you know, I thought it was going to be like, the, you know, a recovery buff for him. But if anything, he's tightened up his neutral. He's just getting hit less. And more importantly, he's getting the hits first. Nahiku not trying to challenge that landing there. You know, it is Ooh. like, oh, this yeah, this is dangerous for Wolf for sure. Yeah, trying to catch a roll there. Just doing some safe, like, lead trapping options. Okay, Nair connects, but not able to get the follow-up. We're going to see an up throw. Chasing with back air, but just being having a little bit too much rage, too high of a percent for that to convert. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Field. Yep. And landing back air, he's looking for it. A back air will definitely, uh, well, at least has the potential of killing. Maybe not from from complete center stage. But, uh, you know, if he's not able to do something... Oh, that side B looking a little scary. Oh, oh, back big, oh my god. Stage. No DI. No DI, no death. And we're going to game no three. Animation. 
This is actually, what, is this our first game three we've had on stream? I believe it is. Oh we've my. Had majority of two O's. Uh, some were one-sided, some were very close, but I believe it was all, it's all been two O's since, since uh, the start of a stream. Yeah. So now it's really going to be on a Hiku for what stage he would like to pick. Mm -hmm. So if I'm him, I'm definitely going somewhere with a little bit. Mm, I don't know. He did so well on Final Destination, though. Town and City. You think Town and City? That's my call. Town and City. I think Town and City is the play. Um, definitely. If he can go back to FD, he probably would. But my guess is Town and City. Don't want to go anywhere with platforms. Seems like platforms are working well against him. Oh man, these load times are killing me. It's got to know. Yes. Down. <laughs> All right. Okay, there into up till great bread and butter, easy damage. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, but he does turn around for the grab. That was a potential really big opener for um, Nahiku's Wolf. Narrowing in, but Vanguard getting the shield grab. Oh, well spaced on that forward smash. Looking for a roll in, but Vanguard does not give it to him. Yeah, getting the sour spot Nair too, but... Ooh, okay, oh, you gotta get off these platforms. Get off the platforms! <laughs> yeah. It's... A weird, it's a weird dynamic this this game three because Nahiku has actually gotten a lot of yeah oh nair to nair, <laughs> he's got a lot of nair combo starters but if anything he hasn't just he hasn't capitalized oh! off them now but that was capitalization huge down air there Vanguard finally when he goes to the low recovery he's just like a little uh, little too high. And that's so unfortunate. I, I believe the platform just arrived there too to allow Nahiku to set up a little bit easier to punish the up B from Ike. Right, yeah, you gotta know the- Oh, and he's going for those shine combos again. You love to see it. Yeah, he's feeling himself right now. Mm -hmm. Iku, if you wanna add Woo! on that extra percent, getting the double hit with the, the blaster. Double. It's so juicy, man. It does like 20. <sighs> must be nice. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Nice. I wanna project one that does 20 damage. That sounds... That sounds solid. I guess Splat Bomb does do like 18 damage, but you can't use it that way. You can't like back off and just shoot it, you know? That's true. It's different. It's different. And speak of the gun, you know, Nahiku was backing off to reset neutral, bring yeah. out the blaster, but that dash attack connects. Mm-hmm. Just at the at the tip of the, the danger zone there. Okay, it doesn't turn around for the up tilt. Yeah, a lot of these situations where one of them is landing on the other with an aerial, it's like, it, it definitely looks like it's harder to react and kind of see which side they're on. Like, do I need to turn around or not? Yeah, I think, you know, you really just go for what your muscle memory says or that's what right your chart goes for really hard to adapt to those small changes here on yeah online tournaments you know it's crazy i've been playing so much animal crossing i'm like looking at the background i'm like okay this town has like apples they got cherries they actually got every fruit but it looks like they don't have peaches man uh oh no they're coconuts. over there on the right oh look at that they got where, every fruit. where are the coconuts yeah uh, it must be on the beach Okay, dash attack connects. Vanguard finds himself using quick draw to recover back to ledge. Mm -hmm. And just a safe retreating there. Ledge trap option. Oh, Hiko just stood there. Yeah. Got hit by that down smash. He just let it happen. Oh man, Vanguard trying to jump over him, but did not jump high enough. That up smash will connect. It's that up smash like always looks like it's a. Uh, it's got more vertical range than I than you expect it to. Because like he was practically at the height of his full jump. Yeah, I mean, those wolf legs, you know, he extends them as far as he can. Yeah. Ooh, looking for a forward air follow-up on that tech chase, but he was a little too early. Yeah, I'm surprised that Nahiku didn't go for just a double dash attack in that situation. Right. Yeah, double dash attack, definitely good. Um, It just seems like, especially with these, these online events, you know, you want those less demanding inputs that's true but you know you got to notice like nahiku definitely looks like the kind of player like once he gets a little bit of momentum he starts feeling himself like oh, for true. going for those shine combos things like that so i think he's definitely going to be looking for the flashy option when possible but now that it's you know kind of gotten into the danger uh like uh last stock situation can he get it down okay i thought maybe down smash was going to come out um, He's probably expecting a. Oh, and he what? No way! Wow! He... Robbed! Robbed! <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I was a little worried. I feel like if you're Nahiku there, you gotta know, like, 
um, you know, there is there's one thing that I can do uh, that is going to get me killed, and it's falling without air dodging right now. And I feel like even if, like, you know, at all, you know, like, yeah, you might take a, a, a punish, you know, if they read your air dodge or something, but you won't die. And I feel like in a situation like that, just don't give them the one thing that'll kill you. That was really, uh... The, the most, and the most unfortunate part was it's that Nahiku's counterpick worked against him. Yeah. Because Vanguard was able to reset on the platform.